Luke and Sadie Nelson respond back to my TikTok video about their over-edited thumbnails on YouTube and here's what they have to say about that. While Luke just commented, um, Sadie decided to chime in and she says, I had the same reaction. Have you guys seen every other YouTuber's thumbnails? They're all the same, if not more edited than ours, bud. Not sure if this comment by Sadie justifies these poorly edited thumbnails, but hey, state your opinion, girl. But I also feel like just because every other YouTuber does it doesn't mean that your editor has to do the exact same thing because sometimes it just doesn't look good. I'm no hater, but if my editor slimmed down my waist to make me appear more thinner, we're going to have problems. I also think this is just going to give them body dysmorphia and make them extremely insecure. And like, hire a new editor because what is this? You can clearly see the waist to hip ratio does not even out. Hey, but if this is real and you're naturally built like Kim Kardashian, my apologies. But what do y'all think about Luke and Nelson responding back to my video and Sadie's opinion? Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Uh-oh, looks like Cass is stirring up more drama. So apparently Cassidy is being called out for stealing this girl's thumbnail idea. Not only are these thumbnails identical, you won't believe what happens next. I have something you should talk about. Recently, Sydney Morton commented on Cass's new video saying, nice original idea, Cass legit copied her thumbnail. And that's correct, guys. Sydney actually commented on Cassidy's video. Sydney commented, nice original video idea. Yikes, the shade. Now, being a content creator and being on YouTube, it's pretty common to have people copy thumbnails and videos so I'm not shocked by this but this girl Sydney seems to be bothered by this one and like Cassidy couldn't just switch it up a little bit like she just copied everything about this thumbnail but she didn't just copy the thumbnail the title of the video as well is the exact same what the heck oh no this is messier than I thought oh my god <laughs> Not gonna lie, now I see why Sydney is a bit triggered by this because honestly, you copied the thumbnail, the video idea, and the same title as well. Yeah, you're coming for Sydney for no reason, Cass. Why are you doing this? Are the Nelson kids really okay? So a few days ago here on my channel, we talked about Luke and his recent repost on TikTok and how they are so concerning. And it's come to a fan's attention in one of the Navy's repost videos. I know it's quite popular amongst kids and teenagers to express themselves through social media, especially when it comes to reposting videos on TikTok. I guess it's just their way of expressing what they're feeling or what they're going through. And I know what you're thinking. It's quite common, so why is this so concerning? Well, while it may seem harmless, maybe this is their way of trying to reach out to someone for help. Not gonna lie, Luke's repost posts on TikTok were a bit more concerning. Some of the videos he reposted talked a little bit more about depression, feeling left out, and not being confident in his own skin. Now, the video that Navy reposted talks a little bit more about wanting to leave her town. Some people are saying that there's no hidden meaning behind this repost and it's completely innocent, while others are worried about Navy, wondering why she's such in a rush to leave town. Could there be a hidden meaning behind this repost? Is she in trouble? Does she not like where she lives? Problems with family or friends? What do y'all think about this? Are people reading into this too much? What do y'all think? Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Fans are upset with Kennedy for showing her baby on social media. So as you guys may know, Kennedy announced on a YouTube video that she will not be sharing her baby on social media. And we have come to decide that we're not going to have our baby boy on YouTube. But recently, her baby was posted on her Instagram page and fans don't understand what's going on. What happened? I thought you wouldn't exploit your baby photos on the internet. Both you and Chase were pretty firm about not exploiting him. Did something happen? Did Cass convince you to do it? If she did, please don't. They're better than this. Understand how social media is harmful. I don't comprehend why people choose to exploit an innocent baby who has no say in whatever is going on here. Please don't be another Cass. She's bad herself, exploiting her siblings for Cass. And we all know they hate being filmed. So let's set the record straight. So Kennedy did say that she will not be showing her baby on YouTube. She didn't really mention about other platforms like Instagram or TikTok. Strictly just YouTube. But what do y'all think about this? Let me know in the comments down below. Fans are upset with Kennedy for not exploiting her baby on social media. As you guys may know, Kennedy had her baby boy, and she stated in a YouTube video she will not be exploiting her baby on social media. She did post a few pictures of her baby on Instagram. From the side, you can't really see much of his face, and these were the comments. Congrats, but why not the face? They probably don't want to expose their child to social media and all the toxicity that's on social media. Why share the pregnancy journey and cover the face? This privacy matters more than content. Honestly, props to Kennedy for not sharing her baby on social media. I feel like that is a great decision to make, especially with all these other content creators and family vlog channels who exploit their children all over social media. Like, for example, Needle got into a really bad car accident and I know his 
family are trying to promote their new YouTube channel, but they really went above and beyond to exploit Needle and his accident all over social media. Like, he was in a coma and he posted this picture of him when he's completely out and unaware. Like, he didn't even give consent to this photo being plastered online while he was in a coma. And I don't know, for me that just seems a bit too far. So I'm happy with Kennedy's decision to not exploit her baby on social media. I don't understand why people are so pressed about this or why they care that much. But what do y'all think about this? Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Here's why people are worried that Presley and Paisley are using way too much skincare and are way too young. Today's show features story on tweens and skincare this morning. It's horrible for them. To the Nymph fam lurking, please go to NBC Today Show website and watch your segment from today about young tweens using all the skincare. A board certified dermatologist explained how damaging all those serums and creams of retinol and other chemicals are for young girls. One of your tweens spends over an hour applying layer after layer of unnecessary chemicals on her face. She even says it burns. If they're only doing these get ready with me videos for views and show only and not truly using this stuff, then at least you should be posting disclaimers. This has definitely been a popular video on TikTok about young girls around Presley and Paisley's age going to Sephora and purchasing skincare they don't even need. Especially their sister Cass always taking them shopping to Sephora. I feel like they're influenced by Cassidy a lot. But what do y'all think about this? Be sure to let me know your opinions in the comments down below. Here's why fans are upset with Sadie Nelson for reposting a certain video on TikTok. So Sadie reposted this video of Trump on her TikTok and fans are very upset because this just means that she's a Trump supporter and while not a lot of people agree with Trump and he's quite controversial, let's just list a few honorable mentions why Trump is very disliked. So Trump was elected back in 2016 as President of the United States and while he only served one term following his defeat in 2020 to former Vice President Joe Biden. Anyway, so why are fans upset with Sadie for reposting this video and why is Trump so disliked? I'm only going to list a few things I found off Google. Reminder, this is not my personal opinion, just what I'm reading off Google, so please don't attack me. So back in 2017, a devastating hurricane completely destroyed most of Puerto Rico and of course the President of the United States, aka Trump, decides to go to Puerto Rico and throw a bunch of paper towels at a ton of Hurricane Maria survivors. Like what are they going to do with paper towels, bestie? And let's not forget this one time where Trump did not de-announce white supremacy in a 2020 presidential debate. In fact, he told them to stand back and stand by. And to sum it up, why he lost to Biden and why he's so disliked is because during his presidency, he promised so much and delivered so little. But like I stated, these are not my personal opinions, just reading off Google. So what do y'all think about Sadie reposting this video? Let me know in the comments down. Hey Abby, Josh from Nenfam has a YouTube channel called Just Josh. Scroll down on Just Cat's channel and there it is. Please make a video about it. So this person is in fact telling the truth. If you scroll on over to Just Cat's YouTube channel, scroll down, you will find her husband's YouTube channel. So Josh does indeed have a YouTube channel, but he has no videos posted yet and only a little over 500 subscribers. Now, the big question here is, what kind of content will he be creating? Is this going to be a family vlog channel with his wife Cassidy? Or is this going to be like his own thing? Maybe a gaming channel, a vlog channel, or some other random content. So he has the same similar username to his wife Cassidy, just Josh. It's kind of catchy, I guess. But let me know in the comments down below, what kind of content do you guys think he will be creating? And also let me know in the comments down below if you will be subscribing to his channel. Also, I'm curious to know if Cassidy will be talking about this in a video soon or when they will launch his official YouTube channel. Since no one's really talking about it and he hasn't posted, people are fed up with Cassidy and her repetitive content and they're also saying that she buys her subscribers. There's no secret that Cassidy loves her Sephora and makeup videos and especially filming with her siblings. But people feel like this is repetitive content over and over again and nothing new. I don't know if this has been touched on before, but I specifically want to know how Cass keeps getting more views from all the repetitive Sephora content. Like for real, I am seriously so fed up seeing the same content over and over again on my feed. But I don't even want to waste my time on watching it anymore because I know that it is a repeat. Honestly, at this point, I feel like she buys bots to play her videos so that her videos will continue to get the same amount of views. She absolutely buys views as well as subs. Her sub count will gain 10k any day, multiple days in a row, then nothing for a week. She's 
as fake as they come. I personally cannot comment on whether or not she buys subs or views, but as far as the content and why she keeps posting the repetitive Sephora vlog, it's honestly just whatever gets the most views and those are definitely her most popular videos, so of course she's going to continue to make content like that. But what do y'all think about this? Be sure to let me know in the comments. Abby at Luke's TikTok reposts are kind of concerning, like some of them are sad and I hope he's okay. So some fans have been very worried about Luke because of the videos he's reposting on TikTok. Not gonna lie, the videos he's reposting are very sad, very heartbreaking, and just seems like he's going through a ton. I guess through his reposts, he's just sharing how he truly feels, and honestly, for my POV, he seems to be very unhappy and is struggling with a ton. There are two videos he reposted that stood out to me. There's a video he reposted that basically says he hates everything about himself, which is so sad. And there's another video he reposted that says when he tries to talk about his problems or what's bothering him, it just ends up in an argument. Now, could he be referring to his friends or his family? Also, I'm not 100% sure if this is his actual account. It does say run by his mom, and he does have a ton of followers as well. But let me know in the comments down below if this is really his account. Also, I just want to let you guys know, if you're struggling out there mentally or physically, I'm here for you. You're not alone, and please reach out to someone you trust. Remember, you are literally not alone. We all go through it, and I'm here for you and I love you. Abby, so I think Cass has to do with the Sadie and Lily situation. Tiffany said that Cass had came and helped with the thumbnails. Tiffany said this in Vlogmas Day 3. So this bit of information is very important because as you guys may know, a few weeks ago, Not Enough Nelsons were caught in a scandal with their thumbnails. People were calling them out and saying that they over-edit their thumbnails and made Sadie and Lily look way too thin and Navy look a whole lot lighter. But some of their fans were defending Not Enough Nelsons and saying that they don't edit their own thumbnails thumbnails they have an editor so blame the editor and while others were saying that not enough Nelsons do edit their own thumbnails so who's to blame we finally have proof in one of not enough Nelsons vlogmas videos day three to be exact Tiffany is talking to Cass and says that she has hired Cass to edit and help her with the thumbnails because their editor couldn't keep up with the vlogmas videos so she does say that she edited vlogmas day one's thumbnail but this video right here the video that the thumbnail went viral was posted two weeks before vlogmas day one so the editor probably edited this thumbnail so it wasn't Cass. so my assumption is tiffany nor Cass edited this thumbnail it was most likely their editor but maybe i'm wrong let me know y'all think in the comments down below she also helped me with the thumbnail for vlogmas number one if you're watching this because we usually have somebody to do our thumbnails but it didn't work out so well and the vlogmas everyday thing is probably going to put them over the